Welcome back to Two Girls Glass. I, we are now going to do the second project, which is this beautiful tree layers of birds. And it is a two layer project. Denise has already put the mask on the first layer, just the birds. And then she marked on her glass where she felt she wanted the tree to line up. Now she's going to take this mask, take the backing off. That's just to keep it clean. And then she can position right about where she wanted. Now, if she doesn't get it exact, she can pull it up and reposition it. That's the beauty of these resist repositionable masks. Okay. Now she's going to squeegee it down on her clean glass. Now she's pre-bent one corner, which makes it a lot easier to get the film protector to separate from the glass. Okay, now she's going to hold down the little edge of the mask so it separates. And then she's rolling back the protective layer. If you keep it nice and low like this and walk it back, it makes for less lift. Now once it's off, she can use her finger or both, put the mask layer back on for another quick flattening. Second time it pops right off. There you go. Now she's still got a couple little bubbles under the tree, so she's going to take and roll her finger. You're not going to want to smooth across because this mask is delicate. Just roll the bubbles out with your finger. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now she's going to tape the edges to prepare to sandblast. Because what we're going to do is we're going to etch this image into the glass so it leaves just enough indentation to trap the enamels, which we'll show you in the next step. Now, if she doesn't tape off these edges, the outside will get frosted. If you do miss a spot and you make sure that the enamel's been removed, you can still salvage it. Okay, we've got that already taped, and now we're going to head into the sandblaster. Okay. 